Welcome back to another online drummer.com drum lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this drum lesson, we're going to go over the outro of Best of You by Foo Fighters. And this is a piece with a lot of energy, a lot of drum fills. So uh, get your cup of coffee and we'll get started. While you're getting that, make sure you check out Chart Topping Drum Beats and Chart Topping Drum Fills, the 60s through today. These are method books that take you from beginner beats and beginner fills and show you how they're used in chart topping songs. And of course, as you progress, you get into more uh, advanced techniques. You can have these right now because they're available as an instant download ebook, and they both have video course uh, to go along with them. And if you're looking to improve your reading skills and your snare drumming, check out my book, Alfred's Beginning Workbook for Snare Drum. All right, let's get down to business. On the free selection of music that I gave you, this is taken from Steve Lee's full sheet music of this song. So if you enjoy this outro, make sure you check out the full sheet music as well. There's a refrain, and it just repeats in, on beats one and two. <laughs> And the sticking that I like to use for that is right, left, right, left. And that happens on every measure throughout the outro, except for measure 114, which has uh, two crashes on count one. But everything else is the same. With that said, once you've mastered beats one and two, you've mastered half of the outro. Nice job. But let's look at the fills that follow. So we'll start with the first measure, 110. One. This fill is going to start with the left stick. It's a syncopated rhythm. It starts on the E. E and up, and up. When you put that together, one, two, and up. The next measure is really cool. We have triplets for beats three and four. The difficult part of this triplet is that they're phrased in uh, groups of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That can be difficult to get used to because normally when we're playing 16th note triplets, we're grouping them in threes or sixes. One technique that's really going to help you with this is if you just think about what the right stick is doing there. You're going... So it's like having eighth note triplets. Three and a four and a... If you keep that in mind, all you're going to do is throw in your left stick in between those strokes. And I deliberately play the right stick louder. Now when you uh, play them both at the same dynamic. But I'm still thinking. Put that together. One, two, and three, and up, four, and up. One more time, a little slower. One, two, and three, and up, four, and up. Now, if that doesn't help, you can count it just as triplets, three elite and the la, four elite and the la. Or if you count it three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet, that's fine too. And I did want to point out, but I forgot because I was excited about the fill, but Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin, John Bonham uses this fill, and it's actually transcribed in Dawn's book, Chart Topping Drum Fills, the 60s through today. So when you get to the triplet section, um, this is fills from verse three. It uses this, this grouping of fours and 16th note triplets, it's pretty cool. If you have the book, that's page 34, you can check that out. Okay, the third measure, measure 112. Of course we have this. And then we've got a three and a three and a. Uh. The E and is ghost strokes, so you're gonna accent the first a. Uh. Three and a uh, four. Three e and a uh, four e and a. Uh. Next measure, of course, the one, a two, and three e and a uh, four. I like this pattern too, it's pretty cool. I'll start on the three. E, I do a right handed flam. Three, E, bring your right stick to the low tom, left stick to the high. And up, a four, a three, and. You've got to get back for that flam fast enough. A lot of times um, when I was playing it, I kind of wanted to put a pause there, but it's three, E, and a la four, the and. Three, E, and a la four, the and. There's no pause. Three, E, and a la four, And then once you hit that and, you've got to come back with a double crash on one. And one. So don't uh, get too excited that you nailed that fill that you forget to come in on one. I've done it. So the next fill is just straight 16th notes. The next measure, 115, we've got one, two, and three, and four, and up. 
And the sticking I like to use, which isn't what I did right there, is one, two, three, and the run. So that's right, right, left, left, right, left. Right, right, left, left, right, left. Here's the open for the crash. And then this last fill, we've got uh, eighth note triplets. One, a two, and three, and a four, and a one, a two, and, and then a cymbal choke. You can choke that with your other hand that's available, or you can choke it uh, on the way back up. So down, up. I'll play this all the way through at a slow tempo for you. And if you like this, be sure to check out the rest of the song with Steve Lee's full sheet music. A lot of great fills. So have fun learning these grooves. Check out our other resources on OnlineDrummer.com. We've got a lot of sheet music, a great drum forum with a lot of members. We've got drum beats, articles, uh, other video lessons, all kinds of stuff. Last week, my Monday lesson was blocked from YouTube. We did some Led Zeppelin Black Dog, but you can get that on OnlineDrummer.com. Just go to the homepage and uh, click on Drum Lessons. You'll see it. Keep drumming.